I'm a doctor by profession, started 20 years ago in this community and we set up a holistic approach towards community development and it consists of medical care, community care, service delivery, job creation, entertainment a bit with it as well, childcare programs. In areas like this there's no refuge removal and we started a waste project where we couldn't afford to do the house to household uh, uh, waste removal but we built pits like that, collectors like that, um, who we clean three to four times a week. What we try to do is we take a rural community where there are no services and then we take that whole community and try to advance that whole community and we do that through community health services and community development services. We want to prevent people from becoming ill so we want to um, get people when they're still healthy. This translates into delivering a service where you don't need professionals and where you don't need um, expensive resources. The lives of the people in this community, it, it has been changed a lot, you see, in terms of benefiting out of this project. It's, it's a community-driven project. What we try to do is recruit also from the community, develop those skills and keep them in the programs to deliver the services to the community. So what we're doing in effect is to delegate all the problems of the community back to the community and this community becomes self-sustainable through looking after those problems. To make a program sustainable, does it always mean financial sustainable or does it mean embedded in uh, empowerment of the community? And I think that the last one we have reached already because 95% of the people employed in our program are from, uh, from Eilandsdoren. The financial sustainability comes up when you integrate with the Department of Health and the Department of Social Welfare, Department of Agriculture, Department of Justice, all those departments who, where we as an NGO do not try to take over but add on and make the systems work and be that implemented so that the service is coming off ground in local environments. In the Mutsi Valley um, there's between 120 and 160,000 people and we like to think that we're touching all of those because we do everything from individual um, interventions to large community um, functions and that type of thing. So I do believe that um, everybody here is aware of HIV and AIDS and where to go when they really a need. If we look at the needs of communities then they need an, a replicable model and Lovu Care Group has provided a footprint in this community which we have transplanted to the communities in Bushburg Ridge, Faalwater, um, uh, Manjeleti area, which is growing massively because the need is so big. And we are there to reach out our hand, the Global Care Group hand, to the Department of Health, to say there where you cannot implement, let us assist you in doing that implementation. Mm -hmm.